little less windy today at the Utah Championship on Friday. After a very windy day on Thursday, things were looking better for the guys out there. We're starting off on 14 with Ryan Armour, who's seventh on the money list. His birdie putt on 14, he drains it after a birdie on 13 as well. He goes on to finish with a 71 on Friday. Justin Huber with his tee shot on the par 3 15th. He birdied 14, looking to set himself up with another birdie here. And would you check that out? Looks like he will go on to tap that in. He's hovering around the cut line at minus one. Also on 15, Todd Beck, the South Korean there with a birdie putt. He's had one top 10 so far this season, looking to get another one. And so was Ollie Schneider Jans, the Georgia Tech product here on 10. That is a birdie, but it will go in. He walks it in. <laughs> Check out that swag. It's because he's had four top 10s already this season and is third on the money list. But John Rollins is right ahead of him at solo fourth. And here he is on 14 with that birdie putt. He finishes with a 68 and eight under. Right behind Andrew Putnam, who is T2 on the tournament. He eagled two, birdie three, and here he is with another birdie on five. Things are looking up for Putnam, who had three missed cuts heading in to the tournament this week. Things are also looking up for Brian Ritchie, the Monday qualifier who led after day one. And thanks to nice putts like that, he's gonna be leading after day two. He goes on to tap in for birdie here on 14, but can he hold on to the one stroke lead over the weekend? We shall see.